Welcome to Styx Master of Shadows, the dark infiltration game coming to PS4, Xbox One and PC. So please join me in taking a moment to learn about the mechanics, lore and gameplay of Styx. In Styx Master of Shadows we meet Styx at the heart of the Tower of Akanash, busy on his hunt for the source of the Amber, an elixir, or a life link for the elves, and an infinite source of power guarded by the humans. In Master of Shadows the humans vastly outnumber the player, Styx, so it's with your strategic insight that you must guide our goblin friend to his desired destination as the narrative unveils. It would be foolish to take on three armed and armoured human soldiers in a fist fight, so let's wait a moment and see if an opportunity to move on unseen arises. It seems these soldiers are engrossed in gossip, but there's no path to reach the ground from here, so we'll have to go around. Yes. With Aaron, we wouldn't have to put up with the company of root suckers. Keeping to the walls and crouching ensures Styx's movement is as quiet as possible, but not always silent, with the amber in his veins indicating the shadows veil his visibility. Where there is no route around the light, Styx will have to manipulate the environment in favour of his objectives. Let's turn out the lights. The guards are heading back to their patrol, but dowsing the lights has prevented Styx from drawing attention to himself. Still, what they cannot see they can potentially hear, so we'll have to tread carefully. If not the kill, we can go for the steal. Let's see what he's got. It looks like it's this guard's lucky day. Perhaps foiled by our chariot's ability. The darkness eludes, but the light beyond is a problem. Dowsing the torch will alert the guard, either opening an opportunity to pickpocket him and steal any flasks around him, or making our presence known depending on how we approach it. Spooked but not suspicious, we'll leave him to investigate for now. Sticks can hide in and crawl under many of the world's objects. We've to bide our time before we can slip past. He may not be as well armed as his comrades, but a single bellow will bring everyone close to his defense, including the guard we philanthropically left to live. Stuck to the corners amidst the shadows, let's creep along the crevices as the cogs of the tower grind below and finally begin our descent. chance to plan, a moment to decide the fate of the foe ahead. Unfortunately, a silent kill, it may take longer, but it smothers the cries. The product of a silent kill is, rather problematically, a human corpse, and we can't leave those around. They tend to arouse suspicion. Two guards, and that's quite a drop. Thankfully, Styx is as stylish as he is subtle, so let's take advantage from a distance, as one's helmet will protect him from throwing knives. Unfortunately, only one human-sized crate around. We'll have to do something more sadistic to rid ourselves of this burden. We briefly apply one of four skills from the agility tree to scout and then hide. There are seven trees, each with four skills, fueled by the amber Styx so desires. These supplementary skills are designed to enrich Styx's strategic and stealth mechanics, not to offer an escape to those unable to hone their skill. As the guards go about their daily routines of eating, drinking, sleeping, chatting, and of course relieving themselves, Styx is able to manipulate any of these life actions in his favour. By throwing up in this communal water tank, any unsuspecting guard who takes a sip will soon meet his end. 
The route taken is entirely up to you, the player, and there are many paths designed to be taken throughout each part of the Tower of Akanash, as well as vast open areas to weave around. Keeping quiet and sticking to the shadows is only a portion of things to consider in Styx, Master of Shadows. When not alerted, guards will go about their daily routines. Careful observation will illuminate times at which this routine can be exploited, and the considerable vastness of the tower's levels are designed to offer organic paths across the map, offering plenty of opportunity to eke out secrets, loot, and potions. Well, we poisoned earlier has served its purpose. A few heavy steps later, and Styx's putrid acid has felled the enemy. Ahead, a rather dangerous looking foe sleepily guards. We'll have to call out an ally. Styx's wretched clone is useful for activating switches, distracting guards, trapping or dispensing smoke bombs, and even turning invisible. Pretty useful for a wretched hunk of flesh. Not so much in this case. Humbled by our defeat, let's assume we can't tackle our large friend alone and look for an alternative route, a second chance for our wretched clone. We've to wait until separated in order to avoid drawing attention to both. Now distracted, silently I am able to sneak attack our daydreaming guard here. As the first guard is brawling with my wretched clone, he dissipates and I take over to finish him off. Let's bring him back, we're not quite done with him yet. Using the clone to scout around the environment and shut off some of the torches for me, I am able to prepare for my own foray into the courtyard. But there are too many enemies to risk heading down right now, and I'll need to distract and dispatch each one of them. Perhaps there's something around here that I can use to my advantage? A final lure to add the finishing touches to my plan. Using the environment I am able to plan for and carry out a surprise attack without aid of glowing indicators or a narrative setup, it's up to you to use what you want, when and how you want it. Let's pack away our friend for now and with a keen eye head through one of the many tunnels carved throughout the Great Tower. And as the light shafts are sliced in two by the tail end of the blimp, take a moment to enjoy some of the advanced ambient effects developed to flesh out the lighting and mood of Styx, Master of Shadows. Atop the atrium later in the game, the sun floods the rafters and the shadows are diminished. What better way to appreciate light than to let it pass through our anti-hero, using invisibility powered by amber. An expensive skill to use, it doesn't last very long, but it'll sure get you out of a sticky situation such as this one, surrounded by guards. There's no chance we'll make it out of this one alive if we exit now, so best to let our seemingly paranoid companions finish nattering about their tentatively fleeting freedom before we move on. Never mention it to me again.
Away they go, and away we go, precariously pouncing into the sunlight, aware of everything around us. So let's quickly head down this darker lower level before we're seen. Offering nothing fancy for this guy, I'm afraid, bringing new meaning to the term legend. And speaking of the ends of ledges, let's grab a hold of this one and get to grips with what lies ahead. It seems one of the guards ahead has been foiled by every human's requirement to go to the bathroom. Let's see how this one plays out. Thankfully, before he got started, we seize the opportunity and reunite him with his fallen colleague. Using a flask of amber, we can replenish our magical power meter, but don't use too many. These are hard to come by and often guarded. So let's take the opportunity to scout and look for a few more items here and there, using our honed skills in stealth to avoid detection. But how to cross this courtyard? Let's bring our wretched clone out and cook up a little plan. Someone's bound to cross the courtyard eventually. Aha! As deduced, we can now move on. A quick flash of amber vision should give us some idea of where to go, so let's make an ascent for the rafters. There are often multiple layers to each part of the Tower of Akanash, so don't be afraid to explore. As we ascend even higher, let's take a look below to get a sense of the scale and size of the zones in Styx, Master of Shadows. You've seen only half of one of the four areas this mission takes place in. Leaping from the rafters, you should get a sense of the freedom of movement and still to fulfill an open world feeling in a more truncated setting, where the freedom to roam is designed to be unrestrictive and equally vertical as it is horizontal. A more active descent is the best plan of action, so let's head even higher, opting to stay onto the rooftops rather than enter the gut of the tower. A mere 17 meters from our desired location, a quick sip of amber to replenish our power. We enter a heavily guarded keep, and with no time for subtlety, let's smoke out our opponents and head to the safety of the shadows, heading higher still. Thank you for watching. Your journey with Styx begins late summer 2014 on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC.